Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to the Infected. We are in the um, western, northwestern town now. Well, it's it's in front of us. I got here and then I thought I better back this little deal up a little bit. <laughs> I wonder if I, I don't think I need these sticks for anything, but I never know. Certainly don't need to keep doing that, but I'm waiting on my food and water here. Let's see, there we go. There we go. Where'd the other one go? There it is. All right. Oh, there's no water left in that one. Uh, all right. Well, uh, here we are. Uh, we are ready to carry on. That's the first Bambi attack since I got here. There he is. First one. Oh, he ran away. <laughs> it's all about timing right there. Uh, we have a huge mess here, and it was uh, it's way worse than I thought it was. Uh, we've got 11 plastic already, two towns to go, I think. This one and uh, the one that's down there. I don't think we've been down there yet. Pretty sure, but uh, let's get this one done and uh, go home so we are definitely going to have uh, some a lot of uh, cooking of ores to do uh, since we have the wind turbines we're going to like go right straight ahead on uh, making power uh, pretty much as soon as we get home plastic thank you Seems like we're going to maybe have to make electrical parts. As I recall, the uh, oil pump needed 10, I think it was. I don't really need that frag. I'll take the egg. I think there's uh, actually not a bad amount of protein. Eight proteins, so uh, we're okay right now, but oh, we're thirsty. I forgot to drink water. Uh, we're okay right now, but uh, we are not going to be okay uh, on the way home. I don't think there's a blueprint in here. <laughs> Unless I missed it. Uh, nope. All right, that is the back door. This town seems to have a whole lot more uh, trees and stuff in it. Boy, it was nice to use that axe. <laughs> and the pickaxe too. Uh, it was only three strikes to take apart a big boulder uh, with that pickaxe, so that was pretty cool. There's some paste uh, biofuel. Thank you. We will indeed. Ah, oh, oil. Nice. I forgot to look and see how much oil we've picked up. I think it's three, uh, but I didn't look. Yeah. Did I look at no? All right. Oh, Kevlar. But yeah, to, we've got eleven plastic in the cart. Now the um, the truck, which I didn't look for because uh, I built that little platform and I went straight to bed, and then woke up and hit record. Um, the truck takes twenty five. I think it is 25 plastic and uh, if it turns out to be in that southwestern town man, or the southeastern excuse me southeastern town that is an oil, onion sprout thank you very much I am kind of hurrying because it's quite a long way home I will take screws though saves on copper so it's going to be quite a haul. Not as far as crossing the entire north end of the map, though. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Uh, the refrigerator. Fantastic. Refrigerator, I believe, takes 75 power to run. And, you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, probably a good 20, 23 wind turbines minimum. They have 20 power each. OK, 
I don't think we need to kill ourselves here because we've already got the tech from this house. Oh, that's the bathroom. <laughs> so far, we don't have to bathe or use the toilet. Where in the world did I leave my cart? Oh. Um, oh, it's, I'm standing right next to it. Uh, it's behind me. <laughs> no. It is right there. It's on the other side of this house. Okay. <laughs> uh, check the bathrooms. I've already been in here. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, still just trying to find electrical parts. Oh, come on, dude. We have tons of mechanical parts, so we're good there. We might have enough Kevlar for that vest now. I'll have to look. We only have one Kevlar at home. So whatever we have left. Yes, an electrical part. Thank you. <laughs> Another Rambi. These uh, sort of kitchen. Ah, oh, another one. Um, there's two of them there. <laughs> I was getting double hits there. <laughs> Let's find the cart. My stuff is full. Uh, well, I thought it was right there. <laughs> Put one on each side. All right. Enough goofing off. It's right behind me. Seriously. <laughs> Dude, I just want to see where my cart is. Stop bugging me. There it is. <laughs> Probably should have taken it with me. Oh, one of these. Ah, these females are so bad. All right, we're gonna need to build a grinder very, very soon. Uh, there is eight Kevlar. That is awesome. And uh, oh, that's the one with ten plastic. So. Uh, 12 plastic now. <laughs> you guys are irritating me. Uh oh, I got hurt. But I'm not bleeding, which is a good thing. All right. Uh, I don't think we went to that house. So that's how I got lost. I went behind one of these houses. So let's put this on the road, because that's a much better place for it. All right. Um, yeah, nothing else will stack in there. Uh, oil. Really? Oh, here's another one. Okay. I see some fiber in there, too. That's, that can go for sure. Uh, we don't need coal. Um, where'd that? Oh, there it is. There's cans in here, too. Yeah. See, I didn't even take time to fix this mess. Oh my god, I'm loving that steel spear so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we definitely don't need these sticks. So I'm going to get those out of the way. We're going to end up carrying some stuff. And that's just the way that it is. I definitely want that onion seed. And yeah, I think I already said we don't need that coal, but... That's okay. All right. Oh, man. Now it's going to be stormy. It's going to be hard to see. All right. Let's try to find the other blueprint and anything else that might be super helpful, like plastic. Fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to see exactly how much plastic I have. Because that is like the biggest impediment. Uh, to bringing the truck home. And we got solar panels. All right. 
So now we can produce all the power and store it. And we have tons of wires and we have a junction box. Uh, so now what do we need? Uh, oil extractor, that's a big deal. And the water house and those, both of those things are in the southeastern town. Uh, I don't know. Let me mark this place. So I don't think that I've already been there. Uh, I still don't see the truck anywhere. I can't hardly see anything, to be honest with you. Oh, I've been to that one. I wonder how I got so mixed up. Did I not go there? Hmm. Seems like I was in here. It looks like I was. I didn't pick up that lead, though. I don't need spoiled food. Got plenty of that. And there's no upstairs. So, yeah, I was in there. Okay. Let's see here what I've missed. Like, a lot of the town, but I've got everything uh, that we need from here. Haven't been in there. Those pipes freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> hmm. As long as this kind of weather holds, uh, we won't have any issues uh, going home. But I do have a ton of uh, potato paste, so we're okay there. There's another wire and some more lead. But I really don't need to pick up lead uh, in towns. All right. That one's got a ghost in front of it. This one appears to not have one. Boy, I must be, like, super tired. Oh, it does. It's on this side. Oh, I didn't dro drop the ghost. All right. All right. Let's go. Got a long, long way to go. I don't know if I... I just don't want to miss the truck is the only thing. That's the end of the road right there, right? Yeah. So it won't be further than that. Looks like I missed these houses right here. It's super hard to see outside, so... Well, thank you. And we'll be able to chug down a few eggs for protein. And, yeah, that one's done. I don't think I'm going to come back, but just in case. It is a uh, long, long way uh, out here. I think I need to move my mouse pad again. <laughs> I must be pushing on it just slightly. Here we go. And it's like, it's uh, scooting itself across the table. <laughs> Plastic is definitely worth it. <laughs> and Vambies have the ability to melt through walls. Don't you wish we could? <laughs> All right, I think this is the last one. And there's another can of oil. Fantastic. Just check the kitchen super quick and look upstairs super fast. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a fragment. I don't care. All right. Um, really? Uh, okay, well, one more. I keep saying that. Uh-huh. It 
it's uh, super early. Well, it's noon. I'm sure we'll be home before it gets dark. Uh, darker, because it's like really dark right now. All right. Seriously, I mean it this time. Let's go. Where's my cart? <laughs> <laughs> I might come back, but I doubt it, because uh, everything that we need is definitely going to spawn, uh, respawn <clears throat> into the towns that are closer to us, and this is just ridiculously, this is about as far from home as we can be, <clears throat> and so that's why I want to get going. while we still have more than half of our energy and that we're doing okay. Uh, drop that, open that. Let's take on a little bit of protein. That's 24 protein. And I think I'll do that, even though that caused me to be thirsty. All right, now we're in great shape. And if we need to have a meat stew when we get home. We've got a raccoon. All right, let's see if we can do this in less than 16 minutes. Uh, first of all, I'd like to take a much more direct path, if I can, without getting too lost. <laughs> you guys know me by now. <laughs> I get lost so easily, it's ridiculous. It's really funny, too, because uh, uh, Green Hell is uh, its super easy to get lost in the jungle. Let me put it that way. And um, Spirits of Amazonia is not as bad. But the Green Hell, the main game, the main storyline, and survival mode, <clears throat> that side of the map, I don't know why, it just makes me, it turns me around so much. And I was watching my very first episode the other night, you know, and um, sort of kidding my bearings. And because uh, there's a major update in seven, six days. Um, today's the 23rd of March. Um, so there's a major update in six days. And so I was trying to get my bearings. And the whole, like, it, oh, God, there's a fox. Ugh. Uh, uh. Dude, hit him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty sure we cannot take him. Because <laughs> there's already a raccoon in there, and I don't think the dev is going to change that. No. All right, we don't need him anyway. Um, at any rate, like the first half of the first episode, I was so turned around. I thought that I was going one direction. And it turned out that I was going the opposite direction. And it's so typical. I do it in the infected all the time. <laughs> so you guys are far more familiar with it. Tree, raccoon. <laughs> there seems to be some wild animals. But you guys are far, far more familiar with my inability to keep on track. <laughs> Sorry about that. I super duper don't think I should belch in your ear. So uh, coming up, uh, right up here, I believe it is, uh, is, I think this is, yeah, we're coming up on the area where SH Gaming is gonna build. And uh, he needs a lot more space than we do. <laughs> so he scoured the map looking for a place. And uh, I think it's right up here in front of us. Yeah, it's right in front of us. There's a big, huge rock right in the middle. And uh, he was asking uh, what... Uh, the viewers think that he should do with this big rock. So if you're subscribed to him, go over there, click the like button, and tell him to put the church up there. 
Yes, I think that would be really cool. And I say church with the same grain of salt that he does. It's like sort of a church, you know, because sort of every village, he's going to build a village, I believe. Sort of every village needs to have a church-ish. <laughs> but it's a great big gigantic rock, and I think it would be pretty cool. It would look cool. <laughs> he's thinking about putting a museum up there, for goodness sake. <laughs> if he takes this whole space for his village, I'm going to be astonished. Oh, oh, tree, George. George is out of energy. <laughs> Come on, stamina. We're going to be working on all those numbers. They're going to go up lightning fast now because we're going to have uh, all of the stuff uh, and the things that we need. Uh, we just need to get the last two blueprints. Uh, although uh, the oil extractor is really the last of the two is really the only one that's uh, really going to make a difference. With an oil sh extractor, we can make our own plastic, which means we can make all of our own stuff. Uh, it'd be really, really hard to go forward having to loot plastic. You can only uh, re-loot the towns every 10 days after you've looted that town. Um, so you loot the town, you save your game, uh, and then when you exit your game and go back into it, that's when the, the timer starts. Uh, no, we don't need that road, but we are almost home. Good. Oh, come on, dude. You can do it. I want to start cooking ores. <laughs> Excuse me. Have a little piece of dust in the air. Seriously. Just go back towards home. That's why I check so much, because I know. <laughs> I know me. <laughs> I'm definitely off the mark. Oh, there's a little trail right there. I wonder if it goes anywhere. <laughs> oh, wait. There's another little trail right there. Never mind. And another one. <laughs> Animal trails. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It's so silly. <laughs> In between uh, episodes, I will go out to the extractors and uh, check on them and get the stuff from them. Okay, I think we can turn now. It's just there's cliffs around all of these ponds, and I don't want to break my leg. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We might put up a little fish for winter, just so we don't have to hunt should something like that come up. Oh boy, I can see the house. Come on. <laughs> I can only guess that the truck must be in that southeastern town. And boy, what an irritation. All right. Oh my gosh. Wait, let's try over here. There we go. Up. There we go. <laughs> Is there anybody on the table? Oh, there's already a raccoon on the table. Let's park this thing over here. All right. We have got... Oh, my gosh, you guys. How much plastic do we have? Oh, nice. Uh, there's mechanical and some more wire and some more plastic. And uh, two more in there, and ten more in there. You know what? I think we're short one plastic. Uh, yeah, we're short one plastic. So, oh, that is so awesome. And uh, mechanical parts, we have all that we need. 
uh, way more. In fact, this stuff is not all going to fit in that box. So we'll just get in there what we can. Oh, it did all fit. All right. Very cool. Oh, my God, you guys. Ah, so good. Got so much good stuff from that. And uh, we've got iron, cobalt, and lead. And uh, was there not one? Oh, there it is, right there. There was one aluminum that we got from a Vambi. Because that's where it comes from. <laughs> I was grabbing the ores here. Okay. Um, and the oil. So 18 oil. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's my lighter. I'm going to need that. And we will start doing this. You know what? Let's use that to make steel. Three, four, five, six, seven. How much lead do I have? Eight, nine, ten. There we go. There's ten lead. And yeah, we'll save that for steel. I think we need twenty steel. Go down there. Thank you. 20 steel, 20 iron, uh, 25 plastic, and 20 mechanical parts. That's, that's the truck. We've got more iron in there. All right, now, where are we going to put the power? I think we should put it right out here. And uh, I, I'm going to put a platform down for it. And then we can make the plat... Oops. Uh, I don't know why that turned like that. But then we can uh, make the platform concrete. Let's get rid of that. There we go. And now the magic of my axe. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not forget we need to load load the uh, circular saw so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> this is going to be uh, so cool uh, hopefully the power oops, stays centralized uh, if it doesn't then we're going to have to move stuff once we decide uh, if we're going to live somewhere other than right here uh, there's plenty of room to build a workshop here. All right. Oh, oh get in there. Go in there. Hey, yo. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, so the next town, uh, I think we will uh, try to go ahead and uh, get that done tomorrow. Uh, even though it's uh, just the oil extractor, I think it is, that we're looking for. I think everything else is fine. <laughs> uh, once you get this uh, circular saw up and running, um, you know, get planks piled up for sure. But don't run it constantly because you will run out of oil. Just like try to make the planks that you need um, and not, uh, what am I doing? There we go. And not stock up for um, the apocalypse. <laughs> this is the apocalypse. That's why it's a survival game. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, I forgot to put that stuff away, but that is okay, because we still have plenty of room. You get so much more out of the wood um, when you use a circular saw.
creepy birds. There we go. All right, how much is left on me? All right, we'll have to get rid of that. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like so cool. All right. Here we go. Placeables power. And the weird thing with the these turbines is how they don't sort of place straight like you think that they are. See, it's going the opposite direction that I thought it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What am I doing? Right ish. I'm not too like fastidious about this either. How many is that? Five. Okay. So five of them. Uh, each one of them is four iron, ten aluminum, five lead, and four cobalt. And uh, without junction boxes and wiring, we can't use them. But you got to build the stuff, you know. So let's look at uh, the junction box. Let's put that away. So let's look uh, quickly at the junction box power. We need a control panel, which is uh, four iron, two copper, two cobalt, and eight screws. Super simple. The junction box, which is very important, Placement of this thing is super important. Um, two iron, two copper, two cobalt, and six screws. And then uh, if we want things to look nice, we'll need electrical rela relays, uh, or we can run the wires on the ground. Um, our building is almost touching the ground, but not quite. So we can run the wires on the ground and um, we won't be able to see them. Um, so that's how that would work, like, really well. All right. This, we are going to put... We're just going to start laying stuff out because um, <clears throat> it makes it uh, super easy to... Oh, we need the water house, too. I thought we got the water house. That's weird. Uh, maybe it was something else that we got. I thought we got. Yeah, oh yeah, water house and oil extractor. We have to go get that tomorrow. So we can't put the water house down, but I'm gonna put it right there, okay? <laughs> did I pick up the lead? I did. Look, at here we are, starting power. What did I do with the lead? Is that not, oh my God almighty. I took it out before it was done cooking. I think it's, it's time. <laughs> it must be time to uh, draw the day to a close. It's not even lit. It ran out of fuel. <laughs> if you ever wonder if you're going crazy, just watch this video and realize you're fine. <laughs> all right there we go <laughs> i'm gonna grab some stuff and start cooking it and uh when we come back tomorrow we will uh most definitely be going to the southeastern town and uh i see that one has fuel and uh we'll be all ready <laughs> to start building power we'll be in better shape to build power tomorrow after i've had some rest <laughs> And water and food. <laughs> there he is, just sitting there waiting. There he is, just sitting there waiting. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all uh, so much for coming along. Let's get a shot of the wind turbines to be. There's some food right there. Yeah, turn that uh, light off. There we go. That cuts down the glare. There it is. <laughs> I didn't even cook it. <laughs> I hope you all have a great evening. Bye for now.